Michael. First of all, could you please introduce yourself for those people who might not know you? I'm Michael Bolton. I'm a consulting software tester. Uh, I go around the world uh, teaching people about rapid software testing and providing uh, uh, consulting to them and how to do that. Rapid software testing is intended to be the fastest, least expensive, uh, but most comprehensive testing uh, you can do while still completely fulfilling the mission of testing. So uh, we emphasize uh, trying to avoid premature formality. Uh, we try to uh, focus on the skill set and the mindset of the individual tester rather than on the process model or the process documents or the requirements documents or the test case scripts or the tools. Uh, we believe that uh, those things are all play a role, but we believe that it is the tester, the individual tester, the tester's mindset and skill set that are at the center of testing. So I've been traveling around the world for the last um, uh, 15 years or so doing that, and it's been uh, very interesting and very rewarding and, and a lot of fun, and I hope I've been helpful. Is it your first visit to Ukraine? How do you like Kyiv? This is the second time I've been to Ukraine. I was in Dnipro in, uh, I believe it was the um, uh, spring, late spring of 2017. I haven't had a whole lot of time here. I had a wonderful dinner last night with uh, uh, our hosts from the conference. Um, and I had a nice little walk around. Uh, I'm busy preparing uh, uh, conference talks though, so I haven't had a great amount of time to uh, uh, get out and have a look. I, I'm hoping to be able to do that on uh, Saturday evening when the pressure's off. For the three days you've been running the workshop uh, for test engineers hosted by Sigma Software. What was it about? What do you think about uh, people participating in the workshop? What do you think about test engineers uh, here in Ukraine in general? Uh, very pleasant, uh, uh, nice, engaged, a lot of really good energy in, uh, in the room. Uh, I, um, I'm sympathetic because I know it must be very difficult to uh, uh, work in English uh, every day all the time. It, people who uh, uh, speak English natively are uh, uh, often overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that comes at them in the class. Um, I see a lot of um, uh, technical skill especially. I, I see uh, it, it's very common in, in Eastern European countries. Uh, a lot of really solid uh, skills in, in mathematics. I do see uh, a sense of a little bit of tentativeness uh, because our approach to testing is quite radical in terms of uh, uh, giving a lot of control and a lot of freedom and a lot of responsibility to the tester. And uh, it's, that's unfamiliar to a lot of people, uh, that at least in the um, uh, environment that I've seen here uh, uh, so far. So that's, uh, uh, that's going to be good for everybody, uh, for me too, uh, to uh, respond to that uh, circumstance, to respond to that mission. You're going to speak at KFS uh, next days. What do you expect from the event and from the people there? I don't know uh, what, to, uh, what to anticipate. Uh, I suspect very strongly that there'll be a lot of uh, uh, interested and passionate people there. This is, uh, I think, the third year. I'm, I'm not sure how long the conference has been running. I know it's been... Uh, uh, successful in a way that is, I think, surprised even the people who organized it, which uh, is always gratifying. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to um, uh, engaging with a lot of uh, uh, energetic uh, people. I'm also looking forward to uh, seeing some other friends, uh, in particular, uh, Jon Jonasson, who is uh, going to be a speaker at the conference as well. What's your opinion? How good test guys should be in technical knowledge like databases, programming, networking, scripting, and so on? Uh, that's a, a, a question that, uh, uh, in terms of any kind of specifics, uh, it's not answerable outside of a particular context, or I could give you an answer, the answer would be worthless. 
Um, what I can say, though, is that uh, uh, testers, uh, I think it's important for testers to have um, no fear of technology, no particular uh, 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 nervousness about learning something new. Uh, I think it is uh, important for uh, testers to have at least some level of uh, technical skill. Uh, but the technical skill expresses itself in various kinds of ways because there's lots of different technical domains. Uh, for example, um, a tester might have very strong uh, mathematical, statistical skills, modeling skills. Uh, th those are technical skills. Uh, a tester uh, might have uh, very strong skills in data visualization. A tester might have very strong skills in uh, data analysis, in programming, in uh, uh, networking technology. Um, the key thing, it seems to me, is to have a handful of, of domains in which you have uh, a good deal of technical expertise, what, what we might call contributory expertise. That's a Harry Collins's term for that. But it's really important for a tester to uh, be able to develop what's, uh, what Harry calls interactional expertise. That is, even though I can't, for example, uh, I, I, I don't really feel very capable about doing security testing. I can talk about security testing and uh, uh, learn very quickly from somebody who is a contributory expert in security testing who would be really helpful to the project. Uh, what I want to do is I want to acquire the skills uh, where I can talk about it and uh, uh, learn about it quickly, interact with people who are good at it, um, and uh, uh, be able to uh, uh, develop skill in it uh, 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 at least to the point where I can understand what's going on and link that up to the kind of testing that I might be a specialist at. Um, I think uh, uh, there are technical skills like the skills of, of uh, uh, modeling, uh, reporting. Uh, they're not usually thought of as, as technical skills, but there are there's technical work associated with that. Um, and uh, finally, uh, I think that irrespective of whether you yourself are a coder, it's an awfully good idea to have at least one coder on the test team. If that's not available to you, you've got uh, two choices. One is to become a coder yourself, or as my colleague James Bach says, your other option is to be charming and to uh, uh, persuade the managers that you need some of the developers' time, to persuade the developers that you need some of their time in order to help your testing go more quickly and more easily so that they can make maximum speed progress on the project. So that, that essentially, uh, if we need testing tools made or built, or if we need uh, um, uh, tools that can help us go more quickly, in the long run, that's going to uh, uh, help the project. And we have to be able to tell a compelling story about that, which is a, a, a different kind of skill, but a, a skill nonetheless. So lots of different technical skills, lots of uh, uh, different possibilities for testers to uh, express some of those and to develop others. Is there any must-have knowledge? It's interesting. Everybody's got gaps, don't they? Uh, I think that it is impossible to say that there's a particular skill that you must have, other than to refer in a little hand wavy way to uh, uh, various elements of testing skill. Uh, a tester needs to be a good analyst, it seems to me, to be able to, to analyze a a product, a, a situation, a, a report, a, a document. A tester should be uh, a clear thinker, 
clear speaker, clear writer. And yet I've seen lots of testers who were not uh, uh, terribly good writers. I've seen lots of testers who uh, don't speak in a particularly elegant or formal way. Um, uh, a tester should have uh, a reasonable skill at operating a computer, I suppose. That's probably a pretty essential thing. Uh, but then I've seen uh, testers who are kind of klutzy, and the reason that they they find bugs is because they stumble into things that um, uh, better prepared and, and uh, uh, more um, uh, skillful uh, uh, people uh, don't stumble into. So it's it's hard for me to put my thumb down on any one thing and say that a, a tester must be like that. It's not. It's not the kind of thing that we would talk about. It's a little best practicey for us to, uh, it would be for us to uh, uh, say something like that. Um, and you could say, you know, well, a tester should be a good generalist. But then I've met lots of testers who are very focused specialists. Uh, so uh, there's, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's any one single must have that every tester must have because other testers and other people on the team can compensate for any uh, uh, weakness that they might have, except a tester should be good at something. Mm -hmm.